On today's video, we're heading into Malibu to hike the Grotto Trail, which leads to the Grotto Falls. This is one of those elusive waterfalls for me. I've been exploring the state for like 10 years and I've never seen a waterfall here. It's always been kind of stagnant water. So after all this rain we had and I happen to be in the area, like I gotta see the Grotto Falls. I'd say we have a pretty good chance today. The hike is only three miles round trip, but it does require some scrambling at the end. So know that going in. Let's jump into my time hiking to the Grotto Falls. I was staying in the Oxnard area. So I made the 30 minute drive into Malibu. It was right after the big storms we had, so the waves were massive and they were crashing along the shore with even a little spray going up onto the road. The road leaves Pacific Coast Highway and heads up into the Santa Monica Mountains with the trailhead being at Circle X Ranch. This area was formerly a Boy Scout camp, but now it's part of the Earthscope network which monitors the movement of the Earth's crust. That canyon is where we're hiking into to get to the grotto. From here, you can get a great view up towards the Sandstone Peak area, which is one of my favorite hiking trails in Southern California. And you can see a different video on that in the description. So this hike is downhill the entire way to the grotto and then it's uphill the entire way back. So just save your energy for the way back. There's only about 500 feet of elevation though, so it's not too tough. Also note that there's not a lot of parking here, maybe 10 to 15 spots. And there is a small day use parking area closer to the trailhead, but I didn't want to go down there because I didn't know how muddy the road would be. According to this sign, it is dog friendly and it's 1.3 miles from here. The trail is easy to follow and mostly downhill the entire way to the waterfall. Almost immediately there was a water crossing and it was one of many on the trail. I was shocked by the amount of water running down the seasonal streams and be prepared to get your feet wet if you go after the rain. I don't think I can get by without getting my feet wet, so it looks like it's gonna be uh, hiking with a cold foot day. At least one, one cold foot. Almost worked. Check it out, that's the first waterfall on the trail right there. It's a pretty good one too. Like I said, I have hiked this trail before, but there was no water and no waterfall, so it was pretty amazing to see these early ones. There's another small waterfall right along the trail. We don't get rain like this very often, so it was pretty cool to see the way the mountains liven up when we have a little bit of water. That waterfall was already worth the hike. It's so cool to see water flowing like that with the sandstone peak area right behind it. I've never seen anything like that on any of the times I've hiked in Malibu. Here you can see the remains of the fire damage that rolled through here a couple years ago. This fire damage was from the fire in 2018. There's another little waterfall coming down that hillside over there. As I continued down, I was in awe of the beautiful green surrounding me on all of the mountains. Check it out, two more waterfalls. One, two. From what I read online, I don't even see any names for these waterfalls. Again, this is very seasonal and most likely if you come and do this hike, you will not see them. I honestly didn't even know that they were there and was blown away that I got to see so many waterfalls just leading up to the actual part I was hiking to. You guys, this trail is blowing my mind right now. I think that's the fourth legit waterfall we've seen and we're not even at the bottom yet. The trail continues down a single track with a few switchbacks as you make your way into the canyon. That is a lot of water rushing through there. I I think I'm gonna get my feet wet again. <laughs> my adrenaline is pumping right now. I got about a half mile left and I'm so excited to see what the grotto looks like today. As we entered the canyon and got down to the stream level, there's another shin deep water crossing. Woo, that is some cold water. From here is about a half mile to the grotto. If you do this after the rain, watch out. The trail is muddy and some sections even have little rivers running through them. Eventually you'll reach a shaded area with a bunch of trees and this is a great rest spot on the way down or on the way back up. As you can no doubt tell, you're gonna have to get your feet wet when the water's going through here. I just decided to take my socks off and just go through the sh with the shoes. They'll dry faster than the socks will. The last few water crossings were about a foot and a half to two feet deep. Here's a good example of why you want to wait a few days before you do it. You can see that this was all a river 
a day or two ago, but I left one day without rain before I came out here. And this is all dried up so I can actually walk along the water. Plus, you don't want to worry about any flash floods or anything like that coming through as you're hiking down. More water crossings. This hike feels like a legit adventure today. This is so fun. Well, this section poses a little bit of a problem. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to get down. I think the way over is usually over there. So I'll go over there and see, but this might be my turnaround point for today, unfortunately. There's still a dry path down this section, so we're gonna go as far as we can. The grotto is right there. After I made it down slowly from this section, I met a couple who were coming back and said they couldn't make it all the way to the grotto. Even this upper section had about a knee deep water that you had to cross in order to continue. That's the entrance to the grotto right there. So hopefully we can get down on that side. I explored for about 20 minutes trying to find a safe way in order to get around the flowing water and all the debris. So yeah, I passed the all trails marker and I'm still exploring down here, but I think I can't find a good way to go down there with all the water that's here. So I guess this has to be the turnaround point for me. Unfortunately, I did not find the grotto waterfall, but this is still an epic hike. Quite an adventure. So I made it back up to the oak area after exploring, trying to find the grotto. I'm sure it was probably down there somewhere and I just didn't keep going far enough, but the water rushing over the rocks past the section where I was at was too sketchy for me to be doing by myself. Maybe if I was here with someone else. That being said, this trail was epic. Seeing those waterfalls in the beginning was worth it by itself. Even though I didn't get to see the grotto, I still had an awesome adventure in Malibu. We'll see you on the next one.